everybody. This is to wonder. I know. I know. Long time no see, right? I'm driving right now. Um, I know. They say no text and drive. Probably be no video and drive either. So, how are you ladies and peoples and jits and whoever is watching? Thank you to all of my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. Um, when we're on this journey to try to conceive baby number two, to those of you all who are still in the in the journey, whether it's baby number two, number one, let me try this out. Whether it's um, sorry y'all, number two or number one, I need, I need something different. Let's see. Is that good? That's clear. Okay. Whether it's baby number two, number one, I am elated to be back on. What has been going on with me? Well, a lot. Um, the first thing I wanted to jump on real quick to let you all know, Caitlin is officially one. Like, I'm going to have to upload some pictures and do like maybe a little movie of some pictures between Christmas and her birthday and yeah I've been gone for a few months but um I'm trying to get this light out without me looking too crazy let me see if I cut this light on is that a little better guys okay well um so as far as her um birthday party it was great she's won her birthday is November 15th um we had a great Christmas happy belated Christmas is that a real term? I don't know, but I just made it one. Happy New Year's, everyone. Hopefully, everyone made it. This is another year. Um, hope everybody's encouraged. I am in my last semester, y'all. My last three classes. I will be graduating, Lord willing, May 9th. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, I'm not going to stop there. I've actually, drum roll, drrr, think about going to law school. Yeah, really? Law school. So, um, praying about it, seeing which direction. Um, I had a law class that really sparked my interest, and I was like, wow, I think I would like to do that. But um, thinking about that, if not, I'm definitely going to grad school, as long as the Lord says the same, in August. Those are the plans. Um trying to conceive I'm still in that I think I gave came on and gave y'all a video um before oh and I didn't have internet you guys that's why I couldn't really we really had to cut back since you know I didn't have a job anymore so we had to cut back some things and the internet and the cable was what y'all know what this is a little sidebar but I really thought that regular TV was going to be like the pits it really wasn't like we got a little antenna you know back in the day you used to have like four or five channels Y'all, you got like 23. It wasn't that bad. It really wasn't. Um, but I'm thankful. Because I got we got the internet back. Thank God. Excuse me. So we got that back. And um, so now I'm able to do these videos and able to upload them. And not have to worry about going to the library or in McDonald's parking lot. Anywhere where there's free Wi-Fi to do school work or vlogs or things like that. Or go to the school just to do school work. Um, all three of my classes are online, so I'm grateful. I don't have to fight for parking at USC. So I'm good. Um, back to what I was saying before. Um, but yeah, the cycle that I'm in now, I don't remember if I told y'all I was in the cycle, but this cycle, I think this is day cycle day like 36, something like that. And um, this cycle, my cycle came on by itself after the Clomid. Usually after I take Clomid, the next cycle, like my, my period usually comes like the right time, like on day 34. And it did. So that's the cycle that I'm in right now. No, I think the last time I told you all that I was um, in the cycle where I was taking Clomid, my first cycle taking Clomid. So that cycle's gone. I'm ending my second cycle now. So, I'm at like day 34. My period's supposed to come on tomorrow. Um, I don't feel any cramps or anything. So, I may have to take the Provera if it doesn't come on. And we're going to try to do it again. I have been really slack. Forget slack. I have not even been taking the Fertile Aid, the Overboost. It's 
almost like I'm really looking for the miracle to happen again. But I think the miracle really helped happen. I thank God for doing it. But I really think me taking the overboost and the fertile aid helped with that too before. Um, cause I was off of it for some weeks, but it was probably still in my system. I don't know. Um, but just, you know, we've been still trying and nothing. And I, I took a digital pregnancy test last night cause I've been really sick. And it's funny because I didn't get that sick and, you know, uh, um, before, excuse me, when I did, I found out I was pregnant. So my husband was even, I was like, Oh, you didn't get sick like this for you. I was like, Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Let's test. Y'all, I took that test. I promise you, seeing that not pregnant hurts just as bad, as bad as it does on the second go-round as it did on the first go-round. And, you know, the enemy tried to come and was like, oh, I just don't feel like going through this again because last time it was such an emotional roller coaster. You girls know what, I'm, know what I'm talking about. Like, you're tired of seeing negatives and you see them, see them, see them. So I'm like, oh, you know, then um, with my case, like, my mom was like, she had issues and after she had her first her body kind of like did great. So honestly, I was having faith and really hoping that that would happen to me. Like after I had Caitlyn, my cycles would regulate. So, but it didn't work out like that. Have I lost the faith? Heck no. I'm going to always have faith. But, um, you know, was a little discouraged. Um, a little, but I immediately picked myself up, began to pray. And, um, God began to encourage my heart. Even in church today, the Lord, um, gave my pastor some encouraging words to give me and it was it was so on point you guys like I know it was nobody but God because I was up at like late five o'clock early six this morning and I got up and I was just praying and crying out to the Lord and just you know not asking why but just asking him to move and do different things and I promise you like when pastor came to me today and told me what the Lord said it was confirmation it was answers it was it was what I prayed this morning was what was prophesied to me. Um, so I'm very thankful for God being mindful of me and putting me in the heart of someone else. And um, just, you know, that definitely reignited uh, my faith. So I'm thankful. Um, this would be, if I decide to take the cloma, this will be my my second round now i forgot that quit my second round of cloning um i've been thinking about taking the fertile aid and overboost um honestly i still have that's how little i took last time like i still have like half a bottle of overboost and fertile aid left so i have some left over my husband is out of his like <laughs> he had no fertile aid for men hun. i don't know what those pills do but the bottle's empty and he he loved them um He's like, get me some more than pills. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> anyway, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's what's been going on with with me. Um, I'm gonna have to do a vlog in the house with with Caitlin at some point, so you all can see her. She's 14 months actually. Yeah, two months have gone by. Jeez. Yeah, she's 14 months and um, she's growing. So, just want to jump on real quick, give you all this video. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Woo! Shout out to you. Hopefully, I will um be on to do some more videos. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I did one of those videos months like middle of last year when I got that new camera. It is so hard carrying that doggone Canon T5 around. That camera is kind of heavy. So, I'm vlogging from my phone right now. The quality isn't that that good, but... I'm trying to find a space in the house where I can set it up on a tripod to video. No, no. But, um, but yeah, so that's that. And also, um, you guys are so just, I'm going to be having some dental work done. Um, I never talked to you all about this, but I'll tell you quickly because it's something that's really near and dear um, to me. When I was about 12 or so, I had the majority of my back top and bottom teeth taken out and so I caught like a bacteria in my mouth and it caused my gums to swell over my teeth and they begin to decay 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 so I was grateful enough to get these four crowns here or whatever and um so just been going through a lot 
dental wise um so i'm gonna be getting some dental work soon to get some stuff done yeah implants are so high oh my gosh like i'm young i really hate the thought of dentures or anything like that but i'm young i really honestly was afraid about them i'm like i want to take a minute out like ooh. Um, implants are high, so, um, but, you know, stuff is being worked out, so, I'm going through that as well, and hopefully I'll be able to smile real big now, cause, um, it's kinda hard to do videos too, you know, and I talk, I speak, I minister, and it's like, oh, people are looking, and I'm steady getting, like, teeth pulled, and it's like, oh my god, I have to do something, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna be getting that done, that's exciting, I'll be able to do a full smile for you all and um yeah so i hope and pray you all are doing good um that you all are encouraged look the way i felt last night i thought about y'all i said i need to make a video so i was like oh this is so frustrating so congrats to those that have had babies have bfps who've ovulated on your own who your cycle came on don't take small things for granted like they're such blessings but you all um Take care. Thank you again to all my new subscribers. Hope you enjoyed my videos. Tell me what you want to see. Like, I told y'all this before. Y'all did not comment. Y'all did not say anything. Tell me what you want to see. Send me some questions. Um, anything. Just tell me. Tell me. And, you know, we'll work it out. All right. Talk to you soon. Love you. Bye-bye.